This is the hemisection of a kidney and we are seeing the cut surface. To orientate, this is the cortex, the medulla and the hilum. Posteriorly, we can see the renal capsule, mostly smooth with some nodular areas at the upper pole, which we will examine in a bit more detail. There is a spherical mass at the upper pole of the kidney measuring 5 by 6 centimeters, occupying almost half of the renal parenchyma. The margins of the mass are relatively well defined. The mass is mostly tan in color. In general, a fresh renal cell carcinoma specimen will appear golden yellow in color due to high lipid content in the tumor cells. The various darkened areas represent hemorrhage and the paler regions are areas of necrosis. The gross features are characteristic of renal cell carcinoma. It is common for renal cell carcinomas to invade the renal vein and disseminate frequently to the lungs, vertebrae, liver, adrenals, and brain. The upper portion of the mass shows some features suspicious of capsular invasion. Extension into the perinephric fat puts the tumor at a higher stage and is correlated with a higher rate of mortality. In conclusion, the salient gross features of renal cell carcinoma include a tan to golden appearance with areas of hemorrhage and necrosis. It is also important to look out for prognostic features such as capsular invasion into the perinephric fat and renal hilum.